Welcome to the Sporting Tribune. I'm here with Angels outfielder Vicky Moniak. You have family in Encinitas. How exciting is to have your family close enough to see you play? Yeah, no, it's been uh, it's been awesome. You know, playing in Philly, uh, you know, being on the East Coast, it's pretty tough for them to get out to see me play. So, um, yeah, being an hour down the road is uh, has been awesome. Definitely enjoyed it. You grew up as a Padres fan. How did it feel playing in Petco Park against the Padres? <laughs> that was exciting. Um, you know, that was something that uh, I kind of dreamed of doing, um, you know, one day. And, um, you know, that was the first time I got to do it in the big leagues. And, and uh, you know, 4th of J July weekend, couldn't have picked a better weekend. And, and uh, you know, just a lot of friends and family there. And, and uh, just playing in front of the, the hometown crowd. Uh, you know, I grew up going to games there. So... Uh, to be able to be on that field and, and uh, to be playing, you know, in one of them was, was special. You guys have a winning record right now and could possibly win the division. What is the motivation like in the clubhouse? Yeah, no, very motivated. Um, you know, every guy in that clubhouse wants to win. I think, uh, you know, speaking for myself, uh, that's really the only thing I care about is, is winning baseball games and, and doing anything I possibly can to to be able to win. So um, we got a good clubhouse. We got a good group of guys all hungry to win. And um, I think, you know, the ultimate goal for everyone is to win a World Series. And, uh, yeah, just trying to take everything day by day and, and just, uh, you know, do everything we possibly can to, to try and get there. You're one of the top four players with a batting average of 331. How do you feel about your progress this season? Yeah, no, I think uh, – it's been nice. I think, um, you know, a lot of hard work's been gone into it over the last seven years and, uh, you know, really my whole life. And uh, just a lot of learning, a lot of growing. And, um, you know, I think the number one thing is, is staying healthy and, and uh, you know, making sure that, uh, you know, I'm good to go every day at 7 o'clock. Uh, but it's been nice. I think the biggest, the biggest part of it was just, uh, you know, having a 330 average is nice and, and you know having all the success but I think the, the biggest thing is you know it's helping the team win um, and I think that you know that's uh, ultimately my goal every day uh, you know it's not to go get three hits it's just to do something to help the team win and, um, any way I can and you know it's, it's, uh, it's been fun. Now this club has a couple of superstars. What have you learned by watching my trial prepare every day? Yeah, Mike was someone that uh, I looked up to, um, you know, in high school and, and when he was getting going and, you know, before I even started playing pro ball. So, um, you know, being able to be his teammate uh, has been special. It's something I'll tell my kids about. Um, you know, there's a reason why he's uh, going to go down as one of the best players ever. You know, just getting to watch it on a daily basis is, uh, is special. Um, you know, he's a special player, special human being. And, uh, you know, couldn't be more grateful to be his teammate. How motivated did you get following Otani in the batting order? Yeah, no, I mean, uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, you know, just kind of getting the lineup every day and, and uh, you know, hitting where I'm at. Um, yeah, it's an honor, I think, um, you know, just trying to give them as much protection as possible. Um, yeah, just, you know, making sure they can't pitch around them and, and uh, you know, making sure that he's going to get pitches to hit because, like you said, he's the best player in the world right now. And, um, you know, his production means so much to the team and, and so much to our success. Um, so, you know, getting a, the getting a hit behind him and, and uh, you know, kind of be that protection is uh, something pretty cool. So having this opportunity now a lot to play every day, you feel a lot comfortable at place. Yeah, definitely. I think, uh, yeah, just the more at-bats I get, uh, the more comfortable I get. You know, being able to see lefties and, and being able to start against them, uh, getting those opportunities is only going to make me more comfortable. Um, you know, I feel like I, I, uh, I've always seen lefties well, I've always hit lefties, you know, fairly well. And, um, you know, I think it's just uh, all about opportunity and getting at bats. And, um, yeah, you know, definitely, uh, definitely excited to be able to be, as, be playing as much as I am. And, uh I just like to keep it rolling. How impressive is to see what Shohei Otani is doing in this club? It's insane. I mean, it's uh, something we'll never see again, I don't think, to the level that he does it. Um, the amount of preparation and work that yeah, gets put into to what he's doing is, you know, it's truly remarkable. Um, you know, it's enough for me to, to get ready for 7 o'clock to, to, you know, face an opposing pitcher and play defense, but I couldn't imagine getting ready to, to pitch every fifth day and, and then, you know, do the same thing. 
uh, you know, at the plate. It's uh, it's insane. I couldn't do it. Uh, I don't think anyone's going to be able to do it to the level that uh, that he does um, anytime soon. Nikki, thank you for your time and good luck with the rest of the season. Thank you. Thanks for having me.